Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a project share with you guys featuring the dies that I received from BB Crafts. So we are going to be building an ATC card. If you would like to purchase this die, I'll leave a link down below to this product, to BB Crafts, and I'll include my coupon code, which is Nicole10, to save 10% off of your purchase. So I have my die. I already cut out my pieces. I'm going to have my glue my paper punch and I'm going to be using this that I use to like pick up smaller little items so with this die you get the little kitty so it's the body the head the tail it comes with a little witch's hat it comes with this larger pumpkin piece and I'm guessing this is supposed to be meant to be like the little top so you could go ahead and like put it on the side and then we have this complete pumpkin with its little stem and let's see. Oh, you get the little like nose piece. See, this is what I use my little pick for. You get the little nose piece for the cat. So we are going to build our ATC card. An ATC card is the size of a baseball playing card. So this is three and a half by two and a half. And then this one is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and round out my corners just to make it look a little bit extra cute. So we can go ahead and layer our pieces just like that. On the ATC card, you want to write your information. So I always forget to do this part. I always end up layering everything and then trying to write on the back. So I am going to just go ahead and fill out my information right now that I remember. So you want to put like basic information like your name. And then if you have social media... You can include that. So I'm going to do my YouTube channel. I guess I should have done this before. That way you guys didn't have to watch me fill this out. And then if you have um, Instagram. I need to get better at posting on my Instagram. Because I am just awful and always forget. And then you can include like your birthday. So mine is July 19th and then um, you can include like things that you like or whatever but I'm going to leave it at that for now. So we'll just leave it like that and I'm like even this side of the paper is really pretty but I think that'd be too dark. Oh, I don't know. Let's see would it be too dark with my little kitty here? I kind of like it. I was originally going for this lighter side. So that way the black could just pop off of there. But I think I'm going to change my mind and go with the spiders. I love spiders. You can never go wrong with spiders. So we are going to just change our mind and go with spiders. Okay, so we rounded out our corners. I'm going to leave um, my bottom piece with just regular, not rounded corners. So put this on there there we go so we're gonna put that aside to let that just dry off a little bit and then we're gonna build our little kitty so I need to go ahead and put his tail I'm like I think I needed to shake this or something cuz come out very weird and now it's making like a mess This is why it's good to have like a baby wipe or napkin on hand when you're crafting. I should have done that. I should have grabbed something. So we're going to just glue our tail on. I'm going to hold it for a couple of seconds. And then just make sure it's right where we want it. And then we're going to glue his head down. And we're just going to go ahead and hold that there. I am just making a mess with this glue. Like, today is not my day for glue, I guess. So we're going to put that down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my card. Now, this is kind of complicated to glue, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to get a couple spots just so it can glue down. And it's also going to be like a background piece. So some of my other pieces should be on top of it and help hold it down. So I'm just going to put this 
maybe over here just along the edge there somewhere well guess it didn't really stick <laughs> then we're gonna put our kitty down so our kitty will help hold down that little mesh piece our kitty there okay and let's see we have our little hat so I didn't glue the hat onto the cat right away because I needed it to stay on the card and I was afraid to like put it too much to the side and it hang off of our card like I said we want these to be able to fit into a baseball sleeve I think that looks cute so we'll place it about there. I'm gonna have it kind of like at an angle and let that last little, let that little ear peep out there. Just kind of hold everything down in place. I'm really glad that I switched over to the spider paper. I think that looks really cute. Okay, so I did get out some googly eyes. I am obsessed with using googly eyes at Halloween so we're gonna go ahead and glue these on down okay I'm telling you today is not my day with glue I don't know why my glue is so runny today I'm like this cat's eyes are so big and funny <laughs> Okay, so we got our little eyes down. Oh, here for the little feet. I'm going to put just a little dab of glue. And then I'm going to take some of my um, diamond dots here. And we're going to glue that down. It looks like it has like little paws. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't want to bore you with me building those feet up. So I did my little diamond dots, then I had this round sequence. So I added those. Now we're going to do the nose, which is this piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue here. I'm still going to use my little tool to help hold it. I'm going to put that right here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I'm going to have to go in with my little like glue eraser that you can buy from Dollar Tree to just go ahead and clean all up all my little mess here and then now I'm going to use in my little mix here I have these little hearts so I'm going to take that and put it upside down and put that for part of the nose right there I think will look really cute so I'm gonna make sure that my heart is upside down I'm gonna use my needle to help take it off then I can use my needle to go ahead and line it up. So there we go. I'm gonna make sure all of this dries before I go in with my little glue eraser and start trying to fix everything. And then we are going to add, I did take out that little moon, I think would be really cute. I did take out this pumpkin. I'm not sure if I wanna add both of those on. I think maybe I'll just do the moon over here in the corner. So I'm wondering if I should use like a super glue to help hold this larger piece down. We will see. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do my super glue to hold it down. I put some on the back there. So we're just gonna drop that down and hold that in place. Oh, maybe not. Yep, still wet. Okay, that didn't work, so that answers my question there. We'll go ahead and go back with our glue here. And pop that on down right there in the corner. So there we go. Now we got our little ATC card all nice and done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. You know what? I wanted to see. I probably should use a Sharpie. Or some paint. Ooh, some paint would look good. Because these little pieces are embossed. So just to give you an idea, I think some paint would be great for these. They could just go ahead and fill in these little pieces right here. So, okie dokie. That's it for today, guys. We will see you later. Bye, guys.